I'm sorry, I've got to make another video again, but it's too important. I had said something about how Psalm 110 is about the Lord taking over from Satan as morning star. And it's really hard to see that from most translations. So I'm first going to go through the translations that are closest to the Hebrew and Greek. And then I'm going to go through the Hebrew and Greek because they each say something very different. The first thing to notice is that the Greek version of the same Psalm 110 is called a Psalm 109. But it's the same one. Remember the numbering of the Bible books um, and the versification all were made after the Bible was long written. Okay. What you see will start in the King James Version, but this is completely off. Your people be willing in the day of your power, the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. The phrase we're going to focus on is womb of the morning. Okay, because it, that is what it says in the Hebrew, but it's got, it, there's a lot of word play there. And this is, you have the dew of your youth. Well, that's all garbage. Okay, but it's a hard verse to translate because it's elliptical. Okay, the translations that come the closest to it and I was really surprised to just see this just now. This is the Douay, this is the uh, Douay Reims. Okay, it's a Catholic Bible. They did not follow. I'm really shocked about this. This is the Latin. Okay, the Latin is not saying what the Douay Reims says, so they just chucked the Vulgate with this verse. With you is the principality in the day of your strength, in the brightness of the saints, from the womb before the day star. See, they're saying it's day star. I begot thee. Now, this particular translation is actually an amalgam of the Hebrew and the Greek. But whoever translated this particular verse looked at both the Hebrew and the Greek, which you are supposed to do, and then they decided their translation as a mixture of it because they treated the Greek as if it was interpreting the Hebrew. And the Hebrew is very hard to interpret, as you're going to see. That's, that's closer. Especially because they get it that it's day star. All right, we're going to go through why these translations are also different, but this is closer to the real meaning. All right, in both the Hebrew and the Greek. Okay, and then of course you've got the actual Greek here, with use dominion, the day of power, splendor of your saints. I have begotten thee from the womb before the morning. The LXX, the Brenton's. This is Brenton's translation. He tends to translate literally, so it never makes much sense. All right? And it says, before the morning, he's missing the point there, but that's okay. And then the New American Bible is a little bit closer, but not close enough. Yours is princely power from the day of your birth. In holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew, I begot you. Now, this, too, is a translation that's Take, looking at the Hebrew, looking at the Greek, because it's very hard to figure out what the Hebrew is really trying to say. And they're trying to determine, he's making an amalgamated translation between the two, Hebrew and Greek. Okay, and it's close. To, it's The meaning is close to what's being said, but the words are not quite the same. Okay. Um, New Jerusalem Bible, Royal Dignity has been yours from the day of your birth, sacred honor from the womb, the honor of your youth. Well, that's not quite it either, but at least it's getting the point that, that it's from the beginning. Okay, they're missing the wordplay in the verse is what's happening. And most of the rest of these translations, just forget it. Okay, Young's literal tends to be a little bit closer to what the Hebrew says. Your people, and that is what it's saying in the Hebrew, your people free will gifts. The word R is not in the Hebrew and he's that's why it's in italics. The people are free will gifts in the day of your strength, in the honors of holiness, from the womb, from the morning, you have the dew of thy youth. This part he's mistranslating because he's missing the point. Okay, but this is actually closer to the literal Hebrew than the rest of them. Alright, because he's literally translating it from the Hebrew. Okay, that's Young's literal translation. A lot, a lot of times Young's literal translation is not usable, but he's getting closer. Okay, the problem with this passage is that it's poetic, and it drops um, verbs, and the Greek does the same thing. <coughs> 
And Isaiah is going to borrow his text in Isaiah 53, 12 from this. And um, Isaiah 14 is going to borrow from this verse. So it's really important to go through it. In other words, Isaiah is looking back at David when he writes his stuff. So that you can understand more about what David meant in Psalm 110 by looking at Isaiah. But first we're going to go through the literal words. And just write down or think about the literal words. I'm going to go through them in order. Okay, you can see in the lower left hand corner the um, lexicon. Your people. That's the first word. Your people. Free will offerings. It's plural, it's feminine, it's a noun. It has nothing to do with willingness. I mean, willingness in the sense of free will offerings. But see, these are the people. This is what they are. The people are free will offerings. Okay? That means they're booty. That's the important thing to understand. The people, your people, literally, free will offerings. So it's your people, comma, free will offerings. That's the first line. This is, this is, uh, I'm going to have to obviously parse it. This is metered somewhere. The whole thing is metered or just part of it is metered. I have, I knew it was metered before, but I just haven't had time to meter it, okay? So it's your people, free will offerings. That's the first line of this metered poem, okay? I mean, the first line of this verse is part of it. In the day, by means of the day, because of the day, all right, because B, that's this, this looks like a little house here, stands for Beth, meaning house. In the day, by means of the day, because of the day, okay? Here it's probably in, but it's got those other connotations too. In the day, of your strength, of your greatness, of your might. So let's go through it again. Your people, free will offerings, in the day of your might. You could even call that the first line of this verse, that whole thing. Your people, free will offerings, in the day of your might. Just take it as the words themselves. Just listen to that again. Your people, free will offerings in the day of your might your people free will offerings because of the day of your might your people free will offerings by means of the day of your might all those meanings are there in those four words it's poetic okay now we get to the next, as it were, verse, or next stanza. I don't know if you even want to call it a stanza, but it's the next, what do you want to call it, uh, section. Okay? Bahadar Kodesh. In the Bahadar, B means in again. Hadar means glory. It's glory by man standards. It's glory by visible standards. All right, Isaiah plays on all these words in Isaiah 53. Bahadar Kodesh. Bahadar in glory, in, but I gotta say, in human style glory. Bahadar in human style glory means stuff that man wants. Bahadar in glory, Kodesh, holy. Kodesh means holy. Bahadar in glory, holy. That's it. Just take the words for what they say. Bahadar in glory, holy. So here we go again. Ameka, your people. Na Davot. Okay, Ameka Nadavot. Your people, free will offerings. Bayom in the day, He 
Leka. In the day of your might. Okay? Bahadar in glory. Kodesh. 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 You have to cut the click in your back of your throat. I keep forgetting to do that. Kodesh. Bahadar in the glory. Kodesh. Holy. Now here's where it gets real interesting. Okay, so that's the second line. Alright? It's all by itself. Bahadar Kodesh. By itself. That, that whole thing is just a line by itself. In the glory, holy. Bahadar Kodesh. Merechem. Out from, born from the womb. Merechem. Rechem means womb. You can see down at the bottom part of the screen. Me is a birthing preposition, men. And it always means out from, separated from, beyond. That's its meaning. It's always mistranslated when it comes to womb verses because nobody wants you to know that, that the Bible says you don't become human until birth. That God personally creates your soul and gives you your first breath. That's the Bible. So men is a birthing preparation, pre preposition. You can find that anywhere on the internet. Men means born from, out from, away from, separated from, and it especially means beyond. And that's the meaning you want to focus on here. Merechem, beyond the womb, me shachar, out from the dawn, out from the morning star. Get that word play. This is our this is our third line. Merechem, me shachar. Ma out from Rechem the womb. Ma out from Shachar dawn or morning star. Okay, it's referring really to the 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 the, the time of day. Okay, out from born from beyond Rechem the womb. Ma out from born from beyond Shachar. The dawn, morning star, okay? Leka, to you. Tel, do, and I always get tongue tied when I say this. Ya, le, du, teka. Ya, le, du, teka. You can see the, the transliteration up here. This is standard seminary transliteration up there, okay? Ameka, your people. Na, I always get this wrong. Na, da, vot. Ameka, na, da, vot. Your people, free will offerings. That's line one. Well, wait a minute. Ameka, na, da, vot. Your people, free will offerings. Bayom, haleka. Heleka. In the day of your strength. Bayom, in the day of Heleka, your strength. Ameka, Nadavot, your people, free will offerings. Bayom, in the day, Heleka, your strength. That's line one in this verse. Bahadar, in glory. Kodesh, holy. That's line two. Merechem, out from the womb. Meshachar, out from the day star, out from the morning. Out from the womb, out from the morning, out from the day star. That's line one, two, three. This is line three, highlighted now. Leka. I'm going to have to explain what, why Leka is where it is. To you. Tell. Do. Yalduteka. Children. Do. Tell. Yalduteka. Children. 
Okay, let's do it one more time. Ameka Nadavot, your people, free will offerings, Bayom in the day, Heleka, of your strength, of your might, your people, free will offerings, in the day of your might. You feeling the cadence? I'm trying to translate it with the same cadence as in the Hebrew, okay? I mean, I'm doing this on the fly, so it's, you know, there'll be better ways. Ameka, your people, Nedavot, free will offerings, Bayom, in the day, Haleka, of your might. That's line one. Bahadar in the glory, Kodesh, holy. Bahadar in the glory, Kodesh, holy. That's the second line. Merechem, out from the womb. Mashachar, out from the dawn, out from the day star. Merechem, out from the womb. Mashachar, out from the day star. Leka, to you. Tel, do. Yaleduteka, children. Yaleduteka, your children. Yaleduteka, your children. Tel, do. Yaleduteka, your children. Now, here's where it gets kind of crazy. This was part three. Okay, a line by itself. Leka is kind of a bridge between this and this. See, in other words, Merekum, out from the womb. Meshachar, out from the dawn. Leka, to you. But it also goes, Leka, to you. Tel. Ya yaleduteka. Do to you do your children. That's the last line. So let me just say it in English, but I'll highlight the Hebrew. Your people, free will offerings in the day of your strength. In that's the first line. In the glory holy. In glory, holy. There's no the. In glory, holy. That's the second line. Out from the womb, out from the dawn. That's the third line. To you. You can append it like that. So it goes out from the womb, out from the dawn, to you. Last line. To you, do your children. You'll notice that they're most they're all nouns. Okay? There are no verbs. In English, what they do is they mess up the poetic nature when they put verbs in. There are no verbs here. See look, Ameka, that's not a verb. Na the vot, that's not a verb. Bayom, that's not a verb. Heleka, and that's a sound play on Hela, but I'll leave that go. Heleka, that's not a verb. Bahadar, that's not a verb. Kodesh, that's not a verb. Merechem, that's not a verb. Meshachar, that's not a verb. Leka, that's not a verb. Tel, that's not a verb. Yale, I can't say this right. Yaladeteka, that's not a verb. There are no verbs in this sentence, not a single verb in this sentence. They're all nouns with with verbal force, but they're all nouns. The guy's being dramatic. David's being dramatic. It's as if he's watching it and telling you what he sees. Okay? We'll go through the translation one more time because it's very different in the Greek. Ameka, your people, nadavot, free will offerings. Bayom, in the day, heleka. Your strength. That's line one. Bahadar in glory, Chodesh. 
Kodesh, holy. Bahadar, in glory, Kodesh, Kodesh, holy. Bahadar, in glory, Kodesh, holy. That's line two. Hope you're writing that down. Merechem, in the womb, from the womb rather, out from the womb. Meshachar, out from the dawn, out from the morning star. Leka, to you. That's the third line. Fourth line, Leka, to you. Tel, do. Yaledeteka, your children. Now, what is he doing here? When there are no verbs, He's saying he's setting up what a, a kind of a tic-tac-toe parallel. Ameka Nedavot, your people, free will offerings is paralleled with Tel Yaleduteka. Do your children. This is how it begins. This is how it ends. There's a parallel. In other words, your people are free will offerings, meaning booty. And they are fresh, do, new. And they're your children. See, this is being paralleled with this. Okay? Now, when is all that happening? By Yom Heleka, in the day of your strength, in the day of your power, in the day of your displayed power, even. Okay? So, the children who are free will offerings are like the do. What the, the reason that's important to know is that free will offerings are of crops. Free will offerings of animals. This is produce. Okay, this agricultural term. Of a free will offering you take the temple of either an animal or, you know, fruit of the vine or more generally, you know, wheat, flour, oil, that kind of thing. The people are the free will offerings. It's not the people bringing the free will offerings. They are the free will offering. And that's why you have to parallel it back here, like do. In other words, fresh, new. Your children. You get that? That's the parallel. Now, when is that happening? That's happening in the um sorry that's happening in the day of your strength in other words the second this is the second advent the day that your power begins all right and then in glory holy see haleka your might because eka is here it's taught the next two words are referring to the person it's the person who's got the glory, the person who's holy. It's talking about Jesus Christ. Okay? See, these are your free will offerings. They're occurring in the day of your might. In your glory. He doesn't have to say your because the your is already here. In the, in the glory, the holy glory day. Is what he's talking about. The, the, it's not modifying the people. It's not the people who are in holy array. It's him. It's Christ. He's, he's appearing in glory and he's holy. That phrase in blue is modifying, is depicting Christ, not the people. The people are free will offerings. And they are due, like children. See, children were considered an asset in the ancient world. All right, that's the, the time in which it was written. Okay, and where is he getting these children from? This is key. Merechem, out from the womb, out from, beyond the womb. Meshachar, of the day star. You get that wordplay? The whole trial with Satan is birthing children for Christ. So when he comes at the second advent, the whole bit, the whole trial, all the time period that went on, the whole purpose was to birth kids for Christ. That's why Christ is called the day star. 
in the New Testament. The, the, he, he's getting a, a booty, children, free will offerings, your people, free will offerings, the do your kids are coming from where? Out from the womb, out from the day star to you. Let God, to you. See that? And the L preposition here always has a connotation of like purpose and object. Who is it for? Who's the beneficiary? What's the object? It's often used to create infinitives of purpose. Okay? And, and that's what it's saying is he's the purpose. Christ is the purpose of all the whole story. And so your people are free will offerings. They're like, do your children. That's, I, that's how Isaiah 53.10 comes about. Isaiah's looking back to this verse. And that's why he crafts Isaiah 53.10 the way he did. Okay? I mean, it was a real conversation between father and son. But it's an, ad an adjunct to Psalm 110. Which gives you a whole lot more, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, meaning out of Isaiah 53. And Isaiah 50, 14, which is where Daystar is used also. Merechem, out from the womb of, out from the day, out from the dawn, out from the Daystar. Because Shachar is used in both ways. Chelel ben Shachar, son of the morning, son of the dawn. Okay, morning star. Okay, now that's the Hebrew. Sorry it took so long. Okay, now we got to go to the Greek because it's very different. This is going to be a lot easier to follow. Menasu, with you, hearke, the beginning. Remember how John begins? Remember how Genesis begins? In the beginning, which was not a beginning, there was always the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Okay, this is what this is saying. In the beginning with you in the beginning meaning beginning of creation with you in the beginning see this is where John gets John 1 see they're both playing they're playing back to Psalm 110 all of them literally I'm going to translate literally in order with you in the beginning or with you the beginning because that's not a new case Okay, with you, comma, the beginning title, in the day of your power. The you is, yeah, wait a minute. Meta, with, su, he, arche, with, you, the beginning, en, in, he, hemre, de, tes, dunameus. Day of your power, Su is you. Okay, I'll do it again because I, I, it's real hard for me to do this. I'm not used to it. May the Su with you, Hearke, the beginning, and Hemere in the day, Tesh, you, you don't translate that, Dunameus, power, Su, yours. One more time, with you. The beginning in the day of your power. Okay, that's the first line. In the brightness of the saints, of the holy ones. That's the second line. Out from, born from the womb before in front of the morning star the dawn this is the third line we go back with you the beginning in the day of your power that's line one in the brightness, radiance, of the Holy Ones, out from the womb, at, 
in front of ranking higher than, all those meanings are there in the meaning of, of pro, eus foro, foro, morning star, dawn, and then this one ends with, I can't say this, exegenesa, exegenesa, say, I begot you. What did it say in Psalm 110, 1? Okay. Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies a footstool of your seat. This is the day I have begotten you. See? Oh, it's not in here. It's in another one. There's another There's another verse that says, Today is the day I have begotten you. The day he was born. I'll have to go look up that other verse. Okay. I'm getting too far off topic. I'm sorry. Let's go back to the Greek. With you, the beginning, in the day of your power, line one, in the radiance of your holy ones, line two, out from the womb, at, before, ranking higher than, the dawn, the day star, I begot you. Now you can see these are two very different ideas, but they're related. Okay, so let's go look at this. With you, the beginning. That's a no-brainer. The Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning, which was not a beginning. There always was. Okay? There's no verb. Mera su hearke. There's no verb there. And hemra in the day of your power. Destunemeo su. Entes lam protesin. In the brightness, in the brightness, okay, of the holy ones. They used to translate that saints, but it really means the holy ones or holinesses. Out from the womb. That's the ek is the equivalent of men, but it's in Greek. Before, in front of, preeminent over. Eusofru, the day star. Morning. I begot you. Okay, that's what it literally says. So look, with you, the beginning, that's how it begins, I begot you. I mean, you figured that out, right, didn't you? This is Father talking to Son, with you, the beginning, with you, comma, the beginning. Christ is the beginning. We all know that from one, John 1, and we all know that from Genesis 1. With you, the beginning. In the day of your power, in the brightness of the saints, second coming, obviously, out from the womb preeminent over the morning star, I, Father, begot you, Son. In other words, the guys, the Jews who were translating the Hebrew, rendered it into more meaningful Greek, that the Greeks would understand the point of this. Ameka nadavot. Your people are. Your people, comma, free will offerings in the day of your strength. Bahadar kodesh. In the holy, in the holy glory, His holy glory, meaning Christ, in holy glory, it's talking about Him. It's not talking about them. Okay. Merakam, out from the womb, Meshachar, morning, out from the morning star, to you. And then this goes back to the people again. Tail, 
Yale du teka. Children, your children. The do, your children. See, first fruits, manna, do. It's got all those tie ins. That's why it's poetic and it's elliptical and it's just bam, 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 all nouns, which is emulated here in the translation because they're all nouns here, except for this. This is the only verb and it's at the end. Okay? Now, the reason why they're saying Bahadar Kodesh refers to the people being in holy array. Okay, first of all, this isn't about clothing. This is in glory, holy. It's referring to Christ. It's not referring to the people. See, it's the day of your strength in glory, holy. It's the, this phrase here is referencing the person, Jesus Christ, in the day of his strength. His strength. Not the people. Okay. But people, children, here's depicted as do, your children, that was booty. They're booty. Ameka, your people, nadavot, free will offerings. The people are the free will offerings. The people are booty. So <coughs> it's a glory to the winner to get the booty. So that's why here, it's in the brightness, the Holy Ones. <coughs> Sorry, I'm talking too much. Alright, that's why that's, that's translated like that. Is to, is to stress the fact that the glory that is due Him is the children, is the booty. And that's right here and here. But this is referring to his own glory. He's holy, okay? That should, that's kind of a no-brainer. But he also makes holy. So it's kind of an explanatory translation here. Okay? So we'll go through this a little bit, how this is different. With you, the beginning, in the day, of your power. Close, close syntax ends there. In the day of the brightness of your saints out from the womb preeminent over the morning star. In other words, I begot you. Father begot son. Okay? So as you can see, that's really very different from all the translations here. And even if you want to say, well, Brandon, I don't agree with how you're coming up with it, fine. You know, because I'm always open to, like, let's play with this. But it doesn't mean anything like this. It's not about people volunteering. See, when they've got the brain fart about people, people, people. They're not looking at Christ. They're looking at people. Your people volunteer all oh, in the day of your power. That doesn't even make any sense. In holy array from the womb of dawn, your youth are to you as the do. That doesn't mean anything. This is just this is just jibber jabber translation. And they're all like that. Your people will be willing in the day of power. Look, that doesn't make sense in context. Look, Psalm of David. The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make the enemies a footstool of your feet. That makes sense. The Lord will stretch forth your strong scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Kerev. Hopefully that's Kerev. Tell me yes. Yeah. Yeah, right there. In the midst of your enemies. Th this, this is a, a clever phrase that's being used. Um, it's a play on Emmanuel, God with us. Okay. Rule in the midst of your enemies, standing in the middle of them. Now, this doesn't even fit what he's been saying. Look at this. There's no fit here. This, this whole phrase doesn't make any sense. The whole sentence is out of line. You could just cut the whole sentence and it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. The way it's translated. The Lord is sworn will not change his mind. You're a priest forever after Melchizedek. You see, this sentence is just completely sticks out. It can't be the right translation. Yeah, 
Because what it's really saying is you're getting your rulership because you defeated Satan. Satan isn't going to want that translation very easily, no. So all the translators have a brain fart there, except some of them get it kind of close. You know, at least Douay Reims, whoops, wrong, wrong verse. Douay Reims. Yours is the principality, meaning, you know, prince, prince, principality, the ownership of the kingdom. And the brightness of the saints from the womb before the day start. Before really means preeminent over. I begot thee. So see, they're mixing the, the Greek and the Hebrew translation, but they're getting closer to the idea that's going on. In other words, you're the prince, Messiah, in the day of your strength, second advent, in the brightness of the saints, we're coming back with him, from the womb, and it's not really before the day, it's from the womb preeminent over the day star. In other words, Satan's basically being used to birth something. I begot you. Okay? Now that makes more sense. Especially because they're using Daystar, you start to clue in. Wait a minute, this has a reference to Satan. Yeah. Okay? And pretty much all the rest of them are sort of garbled too. Alright? So, you know, maybe you want to come up with a different translation. I'll go through the literal again. Your people, free will offerings in the day of your strength in glory holy out from the womb out from the day star to you do your children those are the actual words you do what you want to do with them as far as how you want to render them into poetic idiomatic English now I'll go through the Greek again and then you decide what you want to do with it with you, the beginning, in the day of your power, in the brightness of the saints, out from the womb, preeminent over the day star, I begot you. Personally, I prefer a little translation in both cases, because then you can look at the words and you can you, you play with all the meanings and how the words interconnect. I like, I, whenever possible, I like poetic passages especially to be translated literally. And then you just look at the words and you clue into the, the relationship between them. So let's go through it one more time. Your people, free will offerings. In the day of your might. In glory holy out from the womb out from the morning star to you do your children with you the beginning in the day of your power in the brightness of the Holy Ones, out from the womb preeminent over the day star, I birthed you. Now I guess there's one last thing I should show, because I keep saying preeminent over, but I think I ought to prove it. That's Greek preposition pro here. And it's translated before, and yes, it has that meaning, but it has other meanings too. See, before and front of. But this isn't a spatial usage, okay? Spatially, it has a connotation of before and in front of. But that's not how it's being used here. It's being used qualitatively. See, it's talking about preeminence, the beginning. It's a qualitative usage of pro. So when you get to pro, here we go. This is Bauer Danker. This is all spatial in front of an object. Okay, but we're not talking spatial. We're talking qualitative. Marker of a point in time. That's time is quasi spatial in meaning. Earlier than before. And you can argue that because here's the beginning. See, look. 
the beginning right here that's a time reference so pro is going to have a play on the time reference which of course it does so then we go back to the word so you can say before in the sense of earlier than earlier than so you could translate this out from the womb earlier than the day star prior to the day star I begot you. Well, yeah, Christ is God. He's before everybody. See how much more sense this is beginning to make? If you just use the actual words of the Bible instead of the translation, even though it's awkward in English, just look at the words, okay? So marker of point in time, well, that makes sense to think of it that way because you got hearche there right here. That's time reference. So we can interpret this as a time reference. Before, earlier than, prior to. Out from the womb, prior to the day star, I begot you. Doesn't that make more sense now? Okay, so that's meaning number two of pro, the preposition pro. But there's another meaning. Look at this. Marker of precedence or importance or rank. That's a qualitative usage of a spatial pronoun, a spatial preposition. So look, with you, the beginning, time and quality. God is the beginning, right? In the day of your power, with the brightness of your holy ones, that's us, out from the womb, preeminent over the day star. See, highlighted in blue, left. Marker of precedence, importance, and rank. Precedence over what follows. The day star. I begot you. Now if you can think of a better way to translate it than the literal words, let me know. Because as far as I'm concerned, these are all very staccato words that are meant to be staccato because the person speaking them is excited. Okay, look. With you, the beginning, in the day of your power, with the brightness of the holy ones, out from, born from, the womb, prior to the day star, Preeminent over the day star, I begot you. Doesn't that make sense without me having to make, render it in any other kind of English? Just shouting. So now let's do it with the Hebrew. Your people, free will offerings, in the day of your strength, in your glory, holy, out from the womb, out from the morning star to you. Do your children. Doesn't that work? If you can come up with a better way to handle it, let me know. Peace out.